Picture this, it's a dimly lit cinema, the air heavy with anticipation as the projector whirs to life. The year is 1972, and you find yourself seated in the plush velvet seat, your senses on the precipice of an extraordinary journey. The opening credits roll, and as the first notes of Will come and cascade from the speakers, you are transported to the decadent world of the Kit Kat Club. Lisa Manella's captivating presence on screen, Joel Gray's enigmatic MC, and the intoxicating allure of 1930s Berlin sweep you off your feet. It's your first encounter with the iconic film, Cabaret, and it's a moment etched forever in the corridors of your memory. As you reminisce about that unforgettable cinematic rendezvous, let's delve into some lesser-known facts about this timeless masterpiece. Did you know that the film was based on John Van Druten's play, which in turn was inspired by Christopher Isherwood's Berlin stories? Or that Cabaret achieved a remarkable feat at the Oscars, winning eight Academy Awards, including Best Director for Bob Foss? But that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the fascinating tidbits hidden behind the scenes of Cabaret. From the auditions that led to Lisa Minnelli's unforgettable portrayal of Sally Bowles to the unconventional shooting techniques that brought the film's gritty authenticity to life, there's a treasure trove of stories waiting to be unveiled. So, whether you're a die-hard fan of the Kit Kat Club or you're just beginning your journey into the enigmatic world of Cabaret, Join us as we explore the captivating tales that lie beneath the surface of this cinematic gem. Get ready to be dazzled, intrigued, and enchanted, just like that very first encounter with the film itself. It's time to lift the curtain on the secrets of Cabaret. Cabaret, a 1972 film directed by Bob Foss, is a captivating exploration of the decadent nightlife in Weimar-era Berlin. Based on the Broadway musical of the same name, the movie brings to life the enthralling and often unsettling world of the Kit Kat Club. At its core, the story revolves around the complex relationship between the English cabaret performer Sally Bowles, portrayed brilliantly by Lisa Minnelli, and the aspiring American writer Cliff Bradshaw, played by Michael York, against the backdrop of rising Nazi power. The film's unique style is marked by its innovative use of musical numbers that blend seamlessly into the narrative, adding depth and commentary to the characters' lives. The characters are iconic, with Sally Bowles embodying the vivacious spirit of the era and the enigmatic MC, portrayed by Joel Grey, serving as a symbol of the shifting societal norms and moral decay. Cabaret is not only a story of love and self-discovery, but also a mirror reflecting the political turmoil and cultural transformation of pre-World War II Germany. This cinematic masterpiece left an indelible mark on popular culture, winning eight Academy Awards and becoming a touchstone for discussions on art, sexuality, and politics. Its exploration of the human condition in the face of impending darkness remains as relevant today as it was in 1972, solidifying Cabaret as a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences worldwide. In the 1972 movie Cabaret, originally sung in English, the song Tomorrow Belongs to Me underwent a linguistic twist. For the French and German versions of the film, it was dubbed in German. This alteration was made to cater to the linguistic preferences of the local audiences and maintain authenticity in the context of the film's setting. During a 1972 interview with Dick Cavett, actress Lisa Minnelli, who portrayed the iconic character Sally Bowles, revealed an intriguing tidbit. She attempted to meet Jean Ross, the real-life inspiration for Sally Bowles, upon whom Christopher Isherwood based the character. In a twist of fate, Minnelli resorted to putting personal ads in newspapers to arrange a meeting. However, Ross declined the invitation, disliking her popular association with the character. This behind-the-scenes insight sheds light on the connection between the fictional world of Cabaret and the real-life individuals who inspired it. Another interesting fact about the film is that many of its interiors were filmed on sound stages in Munich. These sound stages had recently been vacated by the cast and crew of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This shared film location highlights the versatility of these spaces in accommodating different cinematic worlds. These intriguing details provide a glimpse into the creative and logistical aspects of the 1972 movie Cabaret, enriching our understanding of this iconic film. In the 1972 movie Cabaret, the character of Sally Bowles drew inspiration from Jean Ross, a cabaret singer in Weimar, Berlin during the 1930s. Jean Ross was not pleased with how Christopher Isherwood portrayed her in his stories, 
as apolitical and anti-Semitic. She was, in fact, a staunch Stalinist and a lifelong member of the Communist Party. Later on, she worked as a war correspondent during the Spanish Civil War. In the late 1930s, her partner was Claude Cockburn, whose son is journalist Alexander Cockburn. Alexander described Jean Ross as a gentle, cultivated, and beautiful woman quite different from Lisa Minella's portrayal of Sally Bowles in the film. Interestingly, Claude Cockburn's granddaughter is the actress Olivia Wilde. The original Broadway production of Cabaret premiered at the Broadhurst Theatre on November 2, 1966, and had a successful run of 1165 performances. It earned the 1967 Tony Award for Best Musical. Joel Grey played the MC in the original production, and won the 1967 Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Musical. Remarkably, he also won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for reprising the same role in the 1972 film adaptation. This achievement made him one of the few actors to win both a Tony and an Oscar for the same character. Joel Grey's casting as the MC in the film was not without its tensions. He revealed in interviews that director Bob Foss initially wanted to play the role himself, attempting to make the search for another actor unsuccessful. However, Foss's plans were thwarted by the film's producers, who insisted on casting Grey. This led to some complications in their working relationship during the filming of Cabaret. In conclusion, Cabaret is not only a classic film, but also has intriguing connections to real-life individuals like Gene Ross and the remarkable career of Joel Grey, who earned both Tony and Oscar recognition for his portrayal of the MC. These behind-the-scenes stories add depth to the film's history and legacy. In the 1972 movie Cabaret, Lisa Minnelli, under the guidance of her father and director, Vincent Minnelli, crafted the distinctive appearance of her character, Sally Bowles. This look was inspired by the jazz age icon Louise Brooks as seen in the film's Pandora's Box and Diary of a Lost Girl. In a 2006 interview, Lisa revealed that she had asked her father if she should emulate Marlene Dietrich, to which he advised her to study Louise Brooks instead. The original camera negative for the film has been lost for quite some time, posing a significant challenge during restoration efforts for various formats like VHS, DVD, and digital. Restoration had to be painstakingly performed frame by frame due to the absence of the original negative. Before Bob Foss took the director's chair, notable directors including Billy Wilder, Joseph L. Mankiewicz, and Gene Kelly were briefly considered for the project. However, Foss, upon his hiring, insisted on revising the screenplay to align more closely with Christopher Isherwood's stories, which were rooted in factual events. These behind-the-scenes details offer a glimpse into the meticulous craftsmanship and dedication that went into creating the iconic film Cabaret. In 1972, the movie Cabaret made a significant impact both on the big screen and behind the scenes. English author Christopher Isherwood, who had created the character of Sally Bowles in a 1937 novella, found himself in an unexpected spotlight. While he appreciated the attention the film brought to his career, he had reservations about the casting. Isherwood believed that Lisa Minnelli, who portrayed Sally Bowles in the movie, was exceptionally talented but not quite the right fit for the role. According to him, Sally Bowles was based on a 19-year-old amateur singer and aspiring actress named Jean Ross, who had a misplaced belief in her star quality. This contrasted with Judy Garland's daughter, Lisa Minnelli, who was already a well-established performer. In 2007, the American Film Institute recognized the enduring impact of Cabaret by ranking it as the 63 greatest movie of all time. This acknowledgement marked the film's first inclusion on the prestigious list, a testament to its cultural significance and enduring appeal. Furthermore, in 2003, the Smithsonian Institution selected Cabaret as one of eight films to be preserved for future generations. This honor underscores the movie's historical and artistic value, ensuring that it will continue to be studied and appreciated for years to come. In summary, Cabaret not only left its mark on the world of cinema but also brought attention to Christopher Isherwood's original creation and earned its place as one of the greatest films of all time, as recognized by the American Film Institute. Its preservation by the Smithsonian Institution ensures that its legacy will endure for generations to come. 
As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey through the dazzling world of Cabaret, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this 1972 masterpiece has had on your own life. The brilliance of Bob Foss's direction, Lisa Minnelli's electrifying performance, and the evocative backdrop of pre-war Berlin have left an indelible mark on the hearts of countless viewers. Perhaps you recall the first time you watched Sally Bowles, her mesmerizing voice, and her turbulent love affair with Brian Roberts. Maybe it was the film's striking commentary on the political and social upheaval of the era that resonated with you. Or did the iconic songs like Cabaret and Money, Money continue to echo in your mind long after the credits rolled? Cabaret is more than just a movie. It's a portal to a bygone era, a mirror reflecting the complexities of human desire, and a timeless masterpiece that continues to captivate new generations. Now, it's your turn. Share your cherished memories, your deepest thoughts, and your favorite moments from this cinematic gem in the comments below. Let's celebrate the magic of Cabaret together and keep the legacy of this extraordinary film alive. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic adventure and for sharing your connection with Cabaret. Your presence here is greatly appreciated. Until next time, keep the memories alive and keep exploring the world of cinema with wonder and curiosity. With cinematic regards.